you had your last hero. I, I didn't actually have my first hero until we were together. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we're at the Animal Kingdom in Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida, and we're going to have some sweet treats at Zuri's here at the Animal Kingdom. So if you want to check it out along with us, it's going to be a great time. So stick around and let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, so Zuri's Sweet Shop is just on the other side of Tamu Tamu. Um, it's literally like the exact opposite corner. So uh, we've had, had treats at Tamu Tamu before, but we want to try something different today. So we're going to head over to Zuri's. Um, yeah, and see what they have there. All right, and then there is Zuri's Sweet Shop, and we're gonna walk on in and get something cool. We're gonna check out some gourmet cupcakes. We have some chocolate uh, inspired marshmallow ones. Some, uh, looks like some Rice Krispie treats, some fudge, some Mickey ears, candy apples. And so cookies. All right, well, you guys know what we could go. All right, guys, so we got two wonderful cupcakes. This one is the churro cupcake, which we are excited to try. They said this was a limited edition. And this is a chili lime cupcake. So I'm excited to try this too because I like lime. I don't know how I feel about chili. I didn't realize it was chili until after I ordered it, but I'm sure it's gonna be good because it's Disney. And they did say that both of these actually are limited edition for Spanish, Spanish heritage week. Oh. So, like, I think these are extremely <laughs> This might be like the last day. <laughs> yeah, they said there's a Spanish Heritage Month uh -huh. at some point coming up, but this is Spanish Heritage Week. Okay. Um, it, I don't know. We have to fact check that. I'm not yeah. sure if that's entirely true. That's what the one cast member had said. I'd be surprised if they went through all this effort to bring special cupcakes for only one week. Well, maybe they're going to test it for maybe the month. Possibly. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll see. All right, let's dig in. All right, guys, there are those beautiful cupcakes. Super excited to dig in and try them. Louis trying the churro cupcake. That looks like to be like a ton of icing. <laughs> are you a fan of churros? Do you like churros? So I, you said it's like a cinnamon flavor. I've, I've had a few churros. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, like, it's not something I grew up eating. Yeah. Um, so I like the cinnamon flavor, obviously, but mm -hmm. um, the rest of the churro, I don't think was ever really anything that I... Rit was excited about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it, you like funnel cake though. Yeah, I think the, the churro itself didn't really seem to have much flavor, right? It was just the topping mm. on top. I don't know, I could be mistaken. It's been a long time and yeah. I think I've maybe had like two churros in my entire life. So. Okay, well, we'll have to try a churro soon. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's good though. Um, very cinnamony, obviously. Mm -hmm. There's uh, cinnamon and brown sugar mm -hmm. sprinkled all around it. Uh, the icing is spectacular. D Disney has amazing icing as always. Uh, the cake uh, is, is, is again. Is, I think it's a cinnamon type type of cake as well. Mm -hmm. Super fluffy. You can kind of see yeah. down in there where I took my bite. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Love it. I Good. think they did a great job. And there is the lime chili lime cupcake. Yeah. So this one's going to be an interesting flavor. Uh, I've never had a spicy cupcake before. Mm -hmm. If that if that is what it is. Got to point out the little mini bow though. Yeah. A little lime mini, mini bow, and already I can see the uh, cake itself is like a green color. Oh, okay, from the, the yeah, yeah. lime. Okay. So that is good as well. Um, the cake is obviously lime flavored. The icing is uh, very similar to what's on the other one. Mm -hmm. The same base. Uh, you get a, a lot of lime flavor from that, and then there is a, a slight kick to the uh, the chili powder that's on there as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's not overwhelming, okay. and I think a lot of it's canceled out almost immediately mm -hmm. uh, by the icing. Sure. So if you don't like heat, uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem mm -hmm. uh, with this one, at least from that one bite that I've had. Okay. Is it cream cheese icing or is it buttercream? I think it's buttercream. Buttercream? Yeah, okay. buttercream on both of them. So that, I do love buttercream as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall cool. very good. I think I think my favorite of the two would have to be the churro one, though. By, like, how much? By a little bit? By a lot? Like, if this was, like, on a scale of one to five, how would you I think this is... Or I guess on a scale of one to ten, how would you rank them? Yeah, um, so I would probably give this one maybe a six. It's different. Mm -hmm. It's unique. It's good. Mm -hmm. um, on a scale of one to one to ten, it's probably like like eight or nine. It's pretty good. Really? Okay. Yeah. For somebody who didn't know they like churros, they're going to find out they like the churro flavors. I, I like <laughs> I like cinnamon. Who doesn't like cinnamon, right? But just, I don't know. Maybe I have to try some more churros stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like I just. 
exactly. I complete, completely misremembering this, and I'm probably going to offend somebody, but to me, it seems like it's like styrofoam covered in um, like cinnamon. And brown sugar. Powder. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I kind of. Maybe feel, you just didn't have a good churro. Yeah, I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's a weird texture. It didn't seem to have much flavor. How like, old were I, you when you had your last churro? I, I didn't actually have my first churro until we were together. Are you serious? Yeah, that the restaurant we used to eat at in Hamilton, in Ohio. That was the oh. first time I ever had a churro. Yeah. Uh, I liked that it was covered in chocolate. So I kind of think the similar thing, like with popcorn. Right? A lot of people like popcorn. I'm not a big popcorn fan. I like the butter. I like the, the, the salt. The seasoning. Obviously, yeah. But the popcorn itself, just to me, it tastes like styrofoam. Like, mm, well, I don't I understand bother. why people get excited about that. I love popcorn. I love but, churros. Anyways. So. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to try them and see what I think. All right, guys. So let's dig in. I'm going to try the churro one first and see uh, if Lewis is correct on his assumptions. The um, cupcake almost reminds me of a brownie. No, not a brownie. I'm sorry. A muffin. Very um, tight crumb, whereas, and just looking at it, you can tell the churro one's a bit more dense than the lime one. Um, it almost kind of reminds me of like, of like a coffee cake flavor. I think they're both very moist. Cakes. Yes, they are. But yes, they're, they're they're both very moist. If you don't like that word, sorry. Um, yeah, Disney really did, did a great job with this one. Um, I could taste the cinnamon. I can taste the sugar in it. And there is that nice sweet crunch of like the powdered sugar, or not the powdered sugar, of like the crystallized sugar on top. So great job, Disney, on that one. Okay, and then bite number two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Had I not known that this was a spicy. Oh, now I'm tasting a little bit. I didn't know this was a chili one. I would have thought this was like a rip from key lime pie, which we all know I love. So, uh, yeah, I agree with Lewis. I think the churro one um, is a little bit more sweeter, but I think I like the um, spiced lime one. Are you surprised by that? Yeah, so guys, with new developments, this is actually not that spicy at all. It's the tartness is coming from the tahini. That's not like a chili powder. That's that's like a, a straight up tahini, which I did not know I liked tahini until I had it a few months ago at, at, at Epcot. It was actually one of our first videos. I'm not even gonna link it because it's just so bad, but um, yeah, I am, I'm liking this. It's not spicy, which I'm surprised. There's something going on there. It's tart, it's tahini, so yeah. Okay, fun facts, Disney's awesome. And as this is cupcake, so great job. And the mini bow was just white chocolate. All right, guys, so we are sitting back in Hammurabi Market. So um, I think in the before times, this was like a food area where you could get some like, like quick service uh, kind of back towards this way. So uh, right now it's just a nice chill out spot. And yeah, everything is really, really neat here. Um, some super cool posters and signs on the wall. And then you also get to uh, watch the uh, train come by. And this is the train that goes to Rafiki's Planet Watch. So yeah, pretty, pretty neat. Definitely recommend checking out Rafiki's Planet Watch if you haven't been. There is a petting zoo back there. Uh, there is some interesting, uh, um, like, uh, what do you call it? The animal hospitals back there. Uh, and if you ever watch Disney Plus, uh, Animal Kingdom has their own uh, like series on there and that is, a location of where they film. So, pretty cool. So, just checking out some of the theming here in Hammurabi Markets. That's pretty cool. I'm just looking around here. Yeah, so here is the, um, like the where the quick service would be. And here are some of the things that you could get here. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to come back and try this when it reopens. And another thing Hammurabi's Market is good for is <laughs> there are really some awesome Instagrammable walls here. So, uh, if Instagram is your thing, maybe check some of these out. Uh oh, bamboos are not to be fed. Make sure you throw your things out, y'all. All right, so we were able to get a second, well, actually technically a third treat. So what did you get, honey? All right, so as a bonus treat, we got the Kilimanjaro Cooler. Mm -hmm. uh, they sell this there at the same place where we picked up the other ones. Uh, Zuri Sweet Shop. Yeah, Zuri Sweet Shop, yeah. They advertise it right by the, the checkout. It is basically uh, blue raspberry, lemonade, and again, blue raspberries. Oh, oh, nice. Basically a blue raspberry lemonade. <laughs> That's exactly what it is, not basically. <laughs> well, but it's separate layers, right? Yeah. This, this layer is blue raspberry, mm -hmm. that layer is lemonade, and this layer is blue raspberry. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so that is that. 
still in the plastic cup, but we have a paper straw, so we'll call that yeah. a win. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna see if we can drink it all in one gulp. Yeah, okay, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> million dollars if you can do it. Okay. See, I got some blue raspberry there. Mm. Now we'll try moving the straw up. Let's see if we get some lemonade, see how that goes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> we'll try the blue raspberry at the top. See if it's any different than the rest of the like a mile. Did you not watch them make it? I'm sure they poured it out the same exact spot. You did. Yeah. I'm just being funny. Yeah, mess around. Um. Anyways, yeah, it's pretty good. It's uh, I think it's kind of your standard sort of slushy. Mm -hmm. Is it worth money? Uh, with our annual pestle discount, kind of it's like three twenty-five. So if you're trying to cool off, it's yeah. not a bad option. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up our quick little mini review of Zuri's Sweet Shop. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We definitely enjoyed our cupcakes. I thought, I thought they were awesome, the limited edition cupcakes that we had. So if you're in the park for the next couple days, not sure how long you're going to be around, the customer says by week, you can try some yourself. If you like this type of content, be sure to leave us a comment, let us know, like the video, and subscribe. It really does help us out. We really appreciate it. So that's going to do it for us today, and we'll see you next weekend. lost my husband. Oh, there he is. Alright, and there is the... Get your hands out of the way.